The Baby's Quest is filmed from live studio audience. We've got my save. We can do all these exciting activities, but the most exciting is the start. It was pointed out yesterday that Mibibi Moves has a fast walk speed, and it's kind of funny because in my first experience of this game and in this current one, I don't think it ever really struck me. Like now seeing this again, keeping that in mind, it's true that his walk speed is kind of incredible. Uh, I don't know, I can see how it could be a problem. This isn't open yet. Uh, let's see, I have, I have one vote for Rave, so I'm gonna go in Cave because it rhymes. Well, you know, it's the closest one to a typical video game. Warning, what are you warning me about? Uh, broken glass does hurt! Thank you for the warning! See, that's grass, and it's get- Oh no, there's rabbits and also glass shard in it, so... BE CAREFUL! Man, already I'm down to here, but you can destroy the glass. I see there's a glass piece. Well, it's gone now! We've got physics, we've got rocks... Man, the music in this game is really good, but the sound effects tend to empower the overpower- OH JEEZ! DON'T DRIVE A CAR IN THE CAVE! It creates an alliteration that just upsets too many people, man. Alright, so uh, don't look at the sky if you're epileptic, just... Just general warning there, not necessarily about this video game, but just in general. Notice this is the- Oh no, the help focus episode of Rabbit Living in Glass. The revenge of the adventure of the revenge. Yeah, here you need to, like, position yourself so that your shots fall and destroy hope and mankind. Actually, there's this little alcove that exists basically for that very purpose. Thank you, geology! Oh no, it's the robot that bounces! He is the robot, he bounces. Uh, of note, uh, when- oh jeez. When I compare this to Mega Man, I do mean it. This ends that every level ends with a boss and then you get the boss's weapon. Except I, you know, because, like, every area is indicated by their location rather than their hilarious personalities. I kind of forgot what, like, any of them are. <laughs> well, like, I'll remember them when I see them, but I don't remember, like, where they are or what they give. So, uh, that's gonna be fun. It sounds more like, like a weird little hobby horse than, uh, like, a genuine, bovine, municipal, uh, kind of... Oh, you can just do that, so letting drop, idiot. Now, cow, stop seeing things where they are not there. Uh, that's the robot. He has a coconut gun. He fires in single shots. Uh, if he shoots you, you lose damage. It's pretty weird how that works out. Yeah, you can get all the health in the universe if uh, I hadn't failed. Oh, that's a sad robot, but now it's dead. There's like some kind of like ladder activity going on here. As you might have noticed, Mibibli is on the fragile end of the spectrum of video game health enjoying. Uh, sentence, so keep that in mind when you're doing your Christmas shopping. Oh man, I don't think I can make that jump, right? Because that would make me a lot happy. Oh, and I can, but I can't make that rest of the jump. Well, you can go in the love robot! Yeah! Oof, and you can jump off too. Dang it! Well, that was my adventure with the love robot. Don't jump off, or else that's gonna happen. Man! <laughs> gonna sit there and shoot at things until the end of time. How you feel about that? See, normally you'd be doing this with, with the love robot and it's gonna be fun because it's scratched through everything. It's like, yeah! Violence, destruction, vandalism, vegetarianism, vegetarianism. It's like all the isms that you enjoy in your Saturday broccoli cartoons are here. Except for Mark. He wasn't invited. Well, hello there, balloon lady! What are you doing in the cave? Oh, it's balloon! Everyone likes balloons! I like Max Lives! He's my best friend! Oh god, hell though. This game recognizes that lives are a lot more important in certain types of video games than health. And it does so with trepidation. I am not doing a good job with my whole shooting the robot up until I did. Oh no, that robot's gonna run over all of the ice! What am I going to do? I don't know, there's nothing to be done. Don't worry about the content of this bottle, cause there is none on the screen. Hey, laser robot, frog, how you doing today? Oh, you're having a good time? 
I'm just gonna run into glass if you don't mind. I heard glass is dangerous. I did not heed the warning. I just heard it, but I did not take it seriously. And I have tasted the price. It is very bitter. Like a tangerine on your head. Wow, those robots are serious about putting the hurt in yogurt. Also, my shot just randomly, like, going, I don't know... How do you decide the length that your shots will go? God damn it! Ice shards! Please stop being a thing! Okay, so you know, let's just take this seriously here. You do that and you get real close and you don't shoot the gun because it is your psychic energy that comes out of your hand because the best thinking part of your hand is your thoughts. Uh, yeah, so when they said that the grass shards hurt, they mean it! It kills in one shot because it's a Mega Man spike. What if you shot a block and it turned into a Mega Man spike? What would be your reaction, do you think? My reaction would be, oh no, a complete distrust in the current modern economy. Yay, love robot! Shoot the world and drive forward with a smile! Oof. Can we get knocked out by the jerks, though? That is a possibility. You don't want that to happen. Just do that all day long. Just charge a gun, then you move forward, then you charge it. It's like, oh no, all the enemies are gone. What am I going to do without the steady supply of enemies? Follow my dreams, go to school, earn a degree. All impossible things to fathom, I'm aware. So I'm just gonna shoot my way through the world in hygiene and maybe for evil for forget what I mean. There's a thing down there, I recall. And I forget if to do anything, you need to have a thing. What? Really? Those are your rules? Press down the level repeat! Oh, I didn't press it down enough. That's sad. I'm... Whoa! Crash bot. You're there. You took me by surprise. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to check out what's under there, but it's just kind of really dangerous. Uh, might be easier with some of the other stuff. Like, I know there's stuff to unlock with different weapons and stuff. I don't know, I might be able to... Yeah, actually, yeah, you cannot make a path down there using your early stuff, because that doesn't go low enough. Alright, it's what I suspected, it's kind of unfortunate that, you know, exploring got me to die, but it's okay, it's a checkpoint, there's the saddest man! Oh, it's the saddest rock! Oh, not a violent rock. Well, it's okay. I'm gonna be okay. Boss fight! You don't get your lives back. There's a boss. It's, oh, it's the happiest evil rock in the world. He falls down. He has his little wall... Oh, jeez. Wall selection roto disc. It's like crawl disc It's a dessert that everyone loves. And then you get petrified, and it's like, Oh, I agree violently! Making earthquake as I can! I mean, don't physically do damage, but I don't know how you can... I was pressing the jump button trying to shake out of my state of petrification, and it didn't work out. And now I have no more body. Well, uh, to be fair, I got there with, like, no no health left, so that's okay. He's, he's a smiling guy. God damn it, this is not working out. I am not doing a super good job. I should probably, like, oh, jeez. I don't know what I should probably. Uh, yeah, uh, by the way, if you got... Yeah, this overall, this series is not very ep epileptic friendly. Like, there's a lot of lines and texturing on the wall. Like, it's kind of like crazy in that way. It's like everything has lines and textures and... Oh, jeez, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I am totally going to meet my end. I can tell. I, it has been foretold by a lady wearing too much makeup. Oh, jeez!
It honestly doesn't take that long. Well, that long. It takes an amount of time, but not that long. Well, I'm probably gonna die in this first attempt anyways, so... Like, I don't... You don't get... It's kind of... I, I think it's weird that the mid... Ah, oh, jeez. The mid, like, level checkpoint gives you your health back. Not your health, but at least your lives back. Well, I didn't have any... lost any lives, so I don't know what I'm trying to say there. I guess it's more than referring to my first, first, first slide, first, first gothing here. That's, that's the correct word, right? The gothing here? <laughs> There's no noun for that, for when you get to a place. Arrival? Oh yeah, that, that is a word for that, actually. <laughs> like, the boss is not complex. It has, like, that's his pattern, but I'm having trouble anyways because... I am true to character here. <laughs> I don't know why. You no know, change obstacles to a boss, but still essentially the same activities. And suddenly I become super awful. I don't know why. I don't know why I am like this. I have no explanation. But here I stand. <laughs> God damn it. It's really weird. Alright, so just. Just, 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 just. Like, try to always run underneath him on that one flat surface there. I know it's not always possible due to the overwhelming amount of flashing, slightly teal spheres with grids inside them. Look, look how simple he is, actually, if you are not a complete donut. Oh man, the worst insult I couldn't think of to attribute to myself. At this point, then he's dead! Get a little tiny little bit of slowdown, you know, for the impact to really register. That you just defeat the little rock's big brother and then he's so happy and he jumps off the world and everything is red! The world is over. Yay! I got me one magical hammer that I can use to remove an obstacle obstructing a poor farmer's pathway. Good job, Mabibli, as you are on the quest! Oh yeah, you don't get new weapons in the first part, don't you? Might as well do the question mark spot since it's really short and since I'm here and I'm thinking about it. Prepare for begin. See you on the field! Well... We got Italian music because it's an Italian field! Walking on a field with clouds above me. Look at me, walk! He has a walk cycle! He can go forward like the best of them! Sometimes he can jump, sometimes he can shoot, and sometimes there's a piece of metal underneath the ground, yo! We try not to mention that part, now we go inside a house, welcome to the farm! Oh, there's some science, very self in video games, these are very easy minigames, Simon says! I agree, video game! Let's pay attention. Trois, un, deux. Alright, I can do that. Yeah, flowers. That was well. Well, no, no. So I thought I was super fun. Thanks for making. Cat, cat, ar, 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 cat, 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 ar, 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 cat. I was. I wasn't sure about one, how much it had for a moment there. Uh-oh, there's some sparks there. Uh-oh. Uh, well, it's okay. It's, it's okay, Mr. 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 Blackboard. I understand. Okay, so what's this? Oh, no! Oh, man, maybe Blee. He knows he's in pain. But it worked anyways! We made the game! We're at the very least the level! Hooray! We can go down this hallway! Look at that dirt up on above and in the below! We've got all the textures all around us, yo! It's pretty exciting. We've got level clear music going on. Hey there, little me. How's it going? Oh man, I am! I totally am! Yay! A bonus extra hammer! Why ever will we need that? I don't know, but I think I'm asking that question in kind of a weird, peculiar way! <laughs>